Zyja is a young underground scenecore artist from California. Zyja is a great artist and hopefully this video helps you learn a little more about him. Zyja grew up moving around a lot in different parts of California but mostly lived near the Bay Area. As a kid, Zyja really enjoyed dance pop artists such as Katy Perry and Lady Gaga. Zyja had a creative side from a young age and this resulted in him making comics in his early days. By the time Zyja got to middle school, his music taste and creative side were changing due to his time spent on the Nintendo DSi game Flipnote Hatena. The game was an animation game and exposed Zyja to a lot of internet culture. As far as music goes, the game formed his appreciation for nightcore remixes and Vocaloid songs. The game also continued his creative side going from making comics to animating on the game. It was around 7th grade Zyja's music taste expanded again, this time finding emo bands such as Pierce the Veil and Get Scared. Zyja also found some of the early scene bands such as Broken Side, The Millionaires, Ghost Town, and The Medic Droid, but Zyja was mostly into emo at the time. It was late into middle school that Zyja realized he wanted to make music. In 7th grade, Zyja had a friend that wanted to make rap rock music similar to the band Hollywood Undead, but Zyja didn't like rap music at the time. Zyja was hoping to just find friends that played instruments and he could be the vocalist, but it didn't pan out that way. Being that he thought he needed to play an instrument to make music, Zyja decided to take some guitar lessons freshman year. He enjoyed it, but it wasn't until a little later he actually experimented with making his own music. It's also worth mentioning that Zyja still had an interest in artwork at this time. Zyja took an animation and graphic design classes early in high school. Artwork and design are still things he does to this day, but it's just a hobby and doesn't implement it into his musical creative outlet. Zyja also briefly started making YouTube videos in his freshman year of high school. Zyja commissioned someone to make a YouTube outro for his channel, and in the outro they used a little peep song. Zyja was confused hearing emo vocals slash lyrics over a trap beat and asked who the artist was. Zyja then got into emo rap a little bit, but was still mostly a fan of emo bands he enjoyed from his taste in middle school. In 2018, Zyja was in his junior year and decided to start making music in the emo rap genre because it was the easiest way to make music that he wanted to make without needing a band. The first song he ever recorded was at a friend's house who made beats. Zyja said it took 3 hours to record because he was shy about recording in front of someone which is something I can personally relate to. Zyja immediately started putting his music out on SoundCloud. After this he said he was recording on his phone using BandLab and GarageBand. Eventually Zyja started recording on FL Studio with an old laptop and only half the screen worked. Zyja only made emo rap music for about a year. Late into 2018, Zyja heard the song titled I Need It by Noskov and enjoyed the high-pitched up-tempo vocals. Zyja then started listening to Cute Mob and was even more interested in making that style of music. Specifically, the artist Dylan Anger Carr from Cute Mob helped Zyja get into the genre. Zyja then started to experiment in this genre throughout 2019. In 2019, Zyja founded a collective titled Scam Boys. Zyja said he really enjoyed making music at the time with his collaborators in the collective even though he didn't think his music at the time was up to the standard it is today. Early in 2020, Zyja was able to save up $500 and purchased a new laptop with a full working screen. The earliest song that's still up on Zyja's SoundCloud is the song titled Angels with Cloud Lobby that was made around this time. One song that found some early success around this time was a caramel dance and remix made with the artist Nokia 2K and Young Crypto. During 2020, Zyja joined a collective titled Live League Club. A few notable members of this collective include Tristan, 2040x2040, Roshi, Rylery, Hoshistar, and Qtay. In early 2021, Zyja had a song titled Puke My Guts that began going viral on TikTok. At this point, Zyja was still only uploading music to SoundCloud. Zyja said it wasn't until a few months later after Puke My Guts went viral that he really started to enjoy his own music. Zyja said he started seeing a positive reception of Puke My Guts and it gave him some confidence and really pushed him to work harder. After Puke My Guts started gaining attention, Zyja noticed some of his songs were on other streaming services uploaded by someone else. Zyja contacted Spotify and asked how to claim his music. After a few days, Spotify gave Zyja the distributor. The distributor was a random company he had never heard of and only took payment in crypto which was an immediate red flag. More red flags came when Zyja tried to contact them. The contact information and physical address for the company were fake but eventually Zyja was able to find the owner of the company's WhatsApp. At this point it had been a year later and once Zyja contacted the distributor, Zyja was actually paid thousands of dollars for the streams on his music. Zyja took this money to invest in all new recording equipment. Once Zyja upgraded his equipment, the recording process became a lot smoother. Around this time, Zyja met the producer known as Artisan and said he found they worked really well together. A couple songs produced by Artisan that Zyja really enjoys include the songs titled Cannibal Sex Party and Red Cup. Another notable song that came after the upgrade was the song titled Anorexic Party featuring Kitseki. As far as recording and mixing vocals, Zyja is almost entirely self-taught, however, when it came to making beats, Zyja was given advice from the artist known as Fee Loves You. The only self-produced song Zyja has out is the song titled Shark Cards with Fee. In the near future, Zyja has plans to travel for music-related affairs. Zyja plans to travel to Poland to link with Kitseki and has a show in Japan planned. 
Other plans for the future include more collaborations and putting a lot of time into a full project sometime within the next year. Saj is a great artist and I hope the best for him. Well that's all for this video, big shout out to Hopeless for the edit and please subscribe for more mini documentaries on various underground artists.